it doesn't really affect your distance because you'll be hitting the ball better. So what gripping down it does, that we're on top of the golf ball. I'm not telling you to swing like Jim Furyk, but he is one of the most consistent golfers. Iron shots are easier than most of you think. But we have to make a couple of adjustments to what we would with a hybrid driver and a couple of tweaks that we can learn from some of the best iron strikers in the game. But even though Jim Furyk's swing might be a bit quirky, Tommy Fleetwood's swing is amazing. They both do a couple of things that will help you hit better irons, no matter where you're at in your golf game. A couple of tiny modifications to give you that aha of what striking a solid iron against a ball and seeing it fly on the green. It's good, it's simple. I'm going to try and show you a couple of clips of Tommy Fleetwood, one of the best strikers of the golf ball. And he does something not just with his irons, but with his woods as well. And it can benefit you in many ways, but specifically today, it's gonna to help you get better irons. And I'm gonna tell you very briefly why. What happens a lot of times when we're hitting irons or when we're just swinging, we're trying to do a golf swing, there's often a bit too much movement. We kind of move off the ball a little bit too much, or we're just sort of picking it up with our hands here, trying to create a bit of space. What we want with irons is control and really be able to strike the club face against the ball and then the turf. That's what we're after. And it's a fine balance between having kind of rotation in your swing and getting the angle of attack. And a tiny little trick of simply gripping down the club just towards the end of the grip is going to do so many good things. Poor iron shots generally happen because we're trying to help it up in the air or we've moved off the ball and our low point gets too far behind. So we catch it a bit heavy and then we try and recover with the hands coming through and flipping. So what gripping down it does is actually give us a sensation even that we're a bit more on top of the golf ball. Okay, because if I was standing here with my regular grip, if I exaggerate towards, I'm almost at the end of, well, I am at the end of it, I'm back here. What that's going to do is encourage my shoulder plane, my swing, to be more rounded this way. And that, in essence, is what a driver would do. Because it's a longer club, it's going to be a little bit more rounded and flatter. But we don't necessarily want that with an iron, because we are not able to compress the golf ball if we're standing a bit too tall, if we're a bit too upright, that's going to cause this sort of trying to find the ball, as it were, to find it as we're trying to swing through. So then you think, well, okay, I want to stay on top of it. But if we only stay on top of it by bending over this way, I'm now too cramped, okay? My swing gets too steep and it's too cramped. I can't really move through the ball. So we try and find a little trick. Gripping down the club is going to enable us to balance out the two. It's gonna help me stay in a swing plane, as it were. My shoulder angles are gonna be a bit more over on top of the ball instead of being back here. But I'm going to still have the width that I want and the freedom for those arms to swing down and to feel like my chest is on top of the ball and to release through in a connected manner. And even though it might not solve all of your swing faults by any stretch of the imagination, gripping down it is going to give you that sensation that you need to stay on top of the shot a little bit more, okay? It's gonna feel like you have a little bit more control and a little bit more freedom, okay, to get that ball first. And that was just a little dink, but I got a wonderful strike there club, struck the ball, then the turf. And yeah, wasn't my best swing, but I got a good iron strike just by gripping down it. And you say maybe that'll lose distance on your shots because you're in theory turning a six iron into a seven iron or whatever it might be. You'll be surprised that it doesn't really affect your distance because you'll be hitting the ball better. You'll be getting it out of the middle more. You'll be compressing it so it gets more distance instead of trying to flip the shots through and you you know muscling it you'll get that strike which gets the distance now let's learn what jim furick does to really get some power and consistency i'm not telling you to swing like jim furick he brings it out this way and, and brings it very close here 
but he is one of the most consistent golfers, irons and driver. But I wanted to just share a thing that you could try to give you a bit more confidence as you swing through. So you can grip down it, okay? But what you can either add or replace with, let's say this is your normal setup here. We've got the weight in the balls of the feet and knees over the, you know, balls of the feet here. We're nice and balanced and poised. Let's say this is my regular setup, okay? What I want you to do is stand a couple of inches further. So I'm just shimmying a bit further. So what's gonna happen now, my arms are hanging very much below me. It almost feels like I'm pretty close to my thighs here. And what that's going to do, without even trying to adjust my swing, what it's going to do is encourage me to make sure that I don't lose my posture too much. It's going to make sure that I stay down on my shot and basically stay connected as I swing through. Again, exaggerating, if I'm too far away, it's easy for me to flip the hands, early extend that way. If I'm close and on top of it, it's going to make sure for me just to make contact. I have to clear my hips out the way. I have to stay down on top of it and release through here. I can't even really make contact if I exaggerate it. If I'm especially close to the ball, I have to shallow, allow my hands to come close to my thighs and then swing through. What you'll find is harnessing this minute kind of take on a Jim Fury. It's going to have this feeling of everything being a bit more connected and on top of you. It's not gonna feel like your arms are kind of wailing around separate to what your body is doing. Doesn't mean we rigid, doesn't mean we clamp everything in, but that's what we're after. We're after just something that moves the needle that does a few other things that benefit you. Standing closer is not gonna work for every single shot, but if you find that you're a bit wayward and you're trying to do a little bit too much, standing a couple of inches closer and you can grip down it, but doing this is going to make sure that as you swing, you're going to keep that room. You're going to accelerate through and stay on top of it. And it's not really doing anything different apart from the setup, which is going to make you do different things as you hit the ball. And that's the beauty of it. Just by doing that tweak, you'll have a different sensation. Your swing will move slightly differently. And when you get what that feels like and what that strike feels like, you can start figuring out a little bit of yourself to maybe move further back. Maybe just gripping down it is gonna help you. But both of those are going to give you more consistent strikes with the irons. Now, if you wanna hit better drives without forcing it, I want you to check out this video. It's gonna help you a lot. I'll see you next time.